Okay, Shalom. Shalom. Come here, Shalom. Koholoyim la. Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweshai, Bahashim Rekha HaKodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to take the water to all the Akim and Akwa. That's all here sincerely. Keeping the laws and statutes and commandments of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweshai. To the best of their ability, this is Yah Hananawa. Just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. Wanted to use this video, Fair Use Act, not um, using it for monetary value, just using it for educational purposes only. Now, um, this is an, um, matter of fact, let me, let me see here. All right, Salakia, so trying to come out of it and go back into it. But this is the article right here. Um, the Roy is in um, the Roy's report. Despite requests by Benny Hinn, YouTube refuses to remove documentary exposing Hinn's alleged deception. So, a hey, you know, a <laughs> hey, Christianity them, them falling to a whole new height. We already know that. I mean, pretty much it's a lot of stories. I just done a lesson the other day as far as like all these churches that are closing down they're actually selling their headquarters because the the decline um in the christian church is is just it's just astronomical right now man like you know people not going to church like that no more you know even the people that i normally would see i'm mean, like as far as my neighbors you know they'll step out you know and be all fresh to death and they furs and gators and you know you know the older even not even older um, people are going to church anymore. And it's a lot of this deception, man. But this guy was one of the most deceptive people in the game, man. And I was, you know, into Christianity real hardcore around it because I used to watch this guy. I used to watch a, um, a bunch of these, um, 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 you know, uh, Christian network um, preachers, pastors, you know, and actually sent money to some of them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, because, you know, we, we have a zeal for Yahweh. You know, I had that zeal. You know, according to the scriptures, that zeal for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shabbat, not according to knowledge. These people are some damn demons, man. Because they're not telling you what's the true name of the Father, which is Yahweh. They're not telling you the true name of his son, Yahweh Shai. They're not telling you um, who the real Israelites are, who salvation is really for. They're just, you know, they go with the seminary school um, packet. And shit, the, the, the package tell you how to get down, get your money, you know, do the um, business aspects of it, get your 501c3 charter, you know, and, um, and, and, and teach these sermons on how to, you know, do these prosperity type hookups, man. These, these churches be making a lot of money, but this guy exposed this guy, which a lot of them have been, um, you know, been getting exposed as of late. But um, under the subtitle here, under the picture here, it says theology video producer Mike Winger has prevailed against a takedown request of Benny Hinn's ministry. So, you know, they've been trying to use, you know, hit YouTube, like, man, tell, make him take this shit down. Make him take it down. Because it's, you know, it's, it's overall, I mean, it's, it's, it's you know, it's, they're telling on, it's, it's telling as to his wickedness, so to speak, you know. When they get caught up, they, first thing they go for is, you know, is their defense well let, let us try and rid ourselves of the evidence <laughs> you know and it didn't work with this guy so well because they, he tried a few times to take this guy's um document um take his little movie down or whatever his documentary or whatever it says that despite multiple requests by disgraced faith healer benny hen youtube is refusing to remove a documentary exposing hen's alleged deception practices on April 15th, the copyright team at YouTube email video producer Mike Winger that his recent documentary, which included video clips of Hen, would, re would remain on the platform. The message noted that Hen's ministry had asked YouTube to take down a video citing copyright infringement, but YouTube had denied his request twice, including after an appeal. The notice from YouTube stated, We believe your content is protected by fair use, fair dealing, or a similar exception to copyright protection we are writing to let you know we do not plan to remove your video at this time now you know this guy could get grimier and 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 you know but they're they're all teaching you know a, a false doctrine anyway because we know that the lord is not some white guy some blonde hair blue eyed white guy his name is for sure not jesus we do know that 
um, because the letter J was invented in 1524. You know, the letter J wasn't even around when the Lord walked the earth. So when nobody be called, wasn't being called Jesus, John, Joshua, Jehovah, none of that shit existed back when the Lord walked the earth. Because that sound, that letter J was not around at the time. So, but the true name of the uh, of the Lord is Yahweh Shai, his his Hebrew name. And it's easy to look up, you know. It's it, it, it's it's out there. You just got to do a little research, you know. There's certain Bible apps and stuff that you can get where it actually gives you the name. But you have these Christians that'll tell you that well, it doesn't matter, you know. All in the name of Jesus, but all in the name of Jesus, this guy and got caught up, right? Okay, so it says I would like to actually check out this documentary. But this guy, he's a pastor too, and he's you know he he's going off too, so it really doesn't make no difference. It says Winger. A Calvary Chapel trained pastor told the Roy's report he is shocked and very happy that the YouTube backed up his fair use of hand video clips and wingers for our documentary. Initially, I wasn't intending for it to be that long, said Winger, who produces theolo theology videos through his nonprofit ministry, Bible Thinker. And, you know, you, you, they, they getting paid. They getting paid, bro. That 501c3, they, 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 that tax exempt, they getting paid. It says, but as I dug into Benny Hinn, it was so bad, and he is so messed up, I had to do four hours on it. It says, your tax, here you go, your tax deductible gift helps our journalists report the truth and hold Christian leaders and organizations accountable. Give a gift of $30 or more to the Roy's Report this month, and you will receive a copy of Hurt and Healed by the Church by Ryan George. Get the hell out of here. I ain't giving you nothing. I know all y'all corrupt, right? So it's it's quite a uh, it's quite a little hookup here, man. Um, let's see, cause he he is he he's showing the videos. The videos is cutting him though. Winger added, Hen is a Hen is abusing biblical teachings in order to manipulate people to give money to his ministry while making promises in the name of God that God doesn't matter, doesn't make Salakia. The lengthy video posted April 1st on Winger's channel covers Hen's alleged false healings, false doctrine, failed prophecies, false repentance, and deceptive fundraising tactics at press time. The video has 735,000 views. TRR reached out to Benny Hen's ministry for comment about the takedown request but did not receive a response because, you know, they're trying, they trying to steer clear now. They want this shit taken down. Initially, Winger's video was flagged on YouTube for using a few segments of content from Jesus Image, a charismatic, a charismatic ministry linked to him. Jesus Image Church in Orlando, Florida is pastored by Michael Colianos, son-in-law of, son of him, who has often invited him to preach. Hey, man, it's a money grab. These motherfuckers getting paid, bro. I'm telling you, now they're getting paid. They, they, they fly in private jets. They, they, they building mansions. They got places, man. They, they, they like, shit, these motherfuckers got more properties than, than your average rock star, man. It says in a statement to TRR, a representative for Jesus Image State of YouTube automatically generated that copyright claim. Once it was brought to our attention, we dropped the claim the email stated. Winger confirmed his general sequence of events, but he clarified that Jesus Image likely used a third-party service to submit the copyright claim, which YouTube does not automatically generate. And Winger noted he made a copyright claim appeal on April 1st, but Jesus Image did not drop the claim until April 4th. Jesus Image offered no further comments on the content of Winger's video. So they tried. They, they went hard body. They tried, but it just didn't work. And see, that's why, you know, when they normally give me a strike on YouTube, I, I appeal it. I've won a few. You know, I've lost a few, but I've, I've definitely won in areas where I'm like, y'all tripping, man. That's why I say, hey, if they ever give you a strike, appeal it. At least give it a try. Pray to Yahweh about your mouth side, you know, and give it a try. And what's the worst that could happen, you know? Because they have reinstated my videos and, you know, taken away the strikes and all that shit. It says, however, in his April 7th sermon, only six days after um, Winger's lengthy video was posted, Kalianos condemned the YouTube critics for not following Matthew 18. Okay, so what are they trying to use here? Matthew 18 is a passage encouraging believers first to talk to someone one-on-one -on -one about a personal offense, then to bring the matter to, to others if the person won't listen, and eventually to the whole church. The passage does not address how to confront false teachers. Jesus said if there's no effort, if that doesn't work, then bring it to the church, preach, um, preach Kalianos, 
by the way that do, that doesn't mean youtube Kalionos addict now just on um, what was that about a week or so back you had this pastor i guess it was like a men's conference and um you know they had um i don't know had this guy come through he was climbing a damn stripper pole with his shirt off you know shoving a sword down his mouth and all this other shit and it was a, a video that went out where you know they kind of cut this um this pastor's you know gripe short and shit it was like hey you gotta go and then the other pastor came out and he tried to use this same passage like well you should have brought it to me you should have said something to me you know but the, but the damage was already done though you know what i'm saying because really in reality he should not have um even placed it you know their church in that position rather so they they trying to use this matthew a um 18. now the scriptures does say that that is a true way to go you know but this guy doesn't have no affiliation with um this this particular church he's doing a documentary from what he's saying now now if this was you know up close and personal type of deal he's a uh you know a, um member of the church which he probably even if he was just a member and just a tithe parent member he wouldn't have been able to get to the pastor like that you know so he wouldn't have been able to one-on-one -on -one with him anyway so that it would be more close and personal in a sense when it comes to that particular passage, so to speak. This would be someone that's generally around you and you got access to, which this guy, of course, you know, he's just doing a documentary on what he's saying. So they try and use the scriptures and throw around the scriptures to their advantage, you know, and, and when they're going off all the way anyway. OK, but anyway, let's um, let's see what else he says. Um. He says, everyone in the sermon, Kaliano spoke of being tasered, tasered on social media by critics. It is such a blessing to not give your eyes and ears to social media, he said, adding that ignoring such information would cause your heart to warm. Well, not what the scripture says to watch and pray. And a lot of our um, information that we do get, you know what I'm saying, it is on social media. That's one of the reasons why they're trying to get rid of TikTok right now. A lot of the information that we see, you know, it, you know, hey, a lot of good news, man, a lot of good um news that's going off into end days prophecies you can find a lot of um good content to do good lessons on you know what i'm saying to warn the flock so no this guy's going off by even telling you that there's nothing wrong with social media and you know now the things that you of course it's a lot of bullshit on there but if you're using the tool to promote the gospel then hey it's nothing wrong with the tool man you know and even for entertainment you know if you want to do a little entertainment you just sitting there just want to watch a couple of little funny ass videos to just pass some time nothing wrong with that you know what i'm saying you know but there is a lot of bullshit on there. Don't get me wrong. Okay, but he said... Um, TRR asked Jesus' image about Kaliano's sermon re remarks, but did not receive response. Okay, so he okay, so this is going off into learning from past takedowns. In the past, Winger has been unsuccessful in defending against takedown requests on a video. And it spe specifically one exposing Joe Osteen. See, these people got the money. We're talking about bigger, you know, but you know, YouTube, they they you know, they they really kind of gotta, you know, they have to honor their contract, so to speak, to a certain extent though. He says um, he posted a video commentary to YouTube titled Analyzing a Typical Joel Osteen Sermon on November. Oh, OK, um, following a takedown request from Lakewood Church, that video was removed a few months later. So we've been through this. We, I'm not going to go all through this. We've been through this. But I do want to play this little video right here where he's kind of like he kind of like he pieced together the clips to show you pretty much. This is what Christianity is in a nutshell. And, and it's all these pastors, man. And that goes for the so-called black pastors as well. This is why we tell you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man, to come out of those churches because you are the true Hebrew Israelites. And let me get this real quick before I go into it. This is the reason why we're in the captivity that we're in pretty much overall right here. Now, you go into the, you know, the Ten Commandments, right? What does the Lord say? Exodus chapter 20 and 1. And Yahweh spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord, Yahweh thy God, which I brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage, right? But... You will have these by them teaching you white Jesus. What you base, what you're basically saying is this idol white Jesus is the one that brought you out of Egypt pretty much overall. You see. 
because they'll give a matter of fact, they'll actually give honor to the, you know, even though they some of some of these people believe that Jesus is the father as well, which there's a separation in that there's the father, then the son and the Holy Spirit. They're different entities. You know what I'm saying? But some of these churches, they teach that, you know, Jesus and the father or, you know, Jesus is the God is, you know, that silly shit. But anyway, you would be saying that a idol brought you out of um, Egypt. Which, you know, the children of Israel done when Moses went to the mount and he didn't come down for the 40 days. And they was like, oh, we don't know what happened to this fellow. You know what I'm saying? Aaron, make us some gods, you know, roughly, roughly paraphrasing. And, um, you know, and they and they actually said these, these are the God. This is, the, the you know, the gods that brought us out of Egypt. See, so that's, you know, that's 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 number one thing that will get your ass messed up. And that's why. As the children of Israel, we're still stuck in the Americas. We're stuck in, you know, Germany. We're stuck everywhere that we've been scattered. We're stuck in these places all because of idolatry. Right. Spiritual idolatry. Because the Lord clearly says right here, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Right. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven images or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath. Or that is in the water under the earth, right? Now let's make a, a, a you know a, a clear you know let's clarify something too though. Now it goes off into not bowing because it's gonna say that later here, in verse five. So it's not like you know nothing wrong with you having a picture on your wall of a damn eagle, a picture on your wall of a deer, or a picture on your wall of you know just a picture in general. It's not talking about that. It's talking about if you bowing down to worship that image. Because it's going to go on to say that right here in verse 5. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquities of the Father upon the children unto the third to fourth generation of them that hate me. Right? And showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Right? So, this is all idol worship right here when it straight comes down to it. This is what these, these, uh, these, uh, prosperity pastors have been teaching for quite some time because see our people are in a desperate state christianity is no different than the lotto when you see the people in the lotto line and they plan two two hundred three hundred dollar um worth of numbers and shit trying to win the big game knowing full well they need to put that shit towards the rent need to put it towards some groceries need to put it towards the, their car payment or some insurance whatever they're 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 hoping to you know, to come out of their situation by basically they're trying to buy the way by the way out of the situation. Same with Christianity. When this pastor is telling you, hey, you give this amount or you're not giving enough. That's the reason why you're broke. And you just giving, 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 giving. And they telling you that the Lord is going to return to you, you know, um, your your ten dollars, a hundred dollars. And in return to you, your hundred dollars, a thousand dollars. If you give a thousand dollars, he's going to return to you ten thousand dollars. You know, if you give ten thousand dollars, he's going to give you a hundred thousand dollars. You know, that ten that tenfold. And he's fooling the people and our people. And generally, this is um women. What the description talks about, um, um, silly women. Let me see. Uh, how is that? Uh. Cause see, men got sense enough not to um to go to the church, man, and give their money up. It, it's men in there that do that shit, but they they have that um effeminate spirit that they don't learn from um their mothers and grandmothers. That 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 thing has been passed down where you know Big Mama she go always going to church. She got her big hat on, and it's always been passed down from generation to generation. But men generally wouldn't go to those churches and give up the funds like that, man. You've had situations where women don't even work nowhere. They you know. They will be at home taking care of the home and they're taking, you know, the, the, the you know, while the, the, the male or the father of the home is taking care of business and going out to work. He's leaving the funds with her and expecting her to do the things for the house. She's going to the church and giving that shit to the pastor. And he's, you know, when 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 bill collectors is coming, he's like, well, what the fuck is going on? You ain't pay that bill. You ain't do this. You ain't do that. Come to find out she didn't get the money to the pastors, man. But this is um, Second Timothy. Let's just get to the point. Second Timothy three and six for of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sin, led away with divers lust, ever learning and never able to come to the truth, to the knowledge of the truth. And that's what that that's what be going on, man. Matter of fact, let's read it in the NLT and a new living translation. It says they are the kind 
who work their way into people's homes and win the confidence of vulnerable women who are burdened with the guilt of sin and controlled by various desires. See? And this is who you think is sitting down watching um, um, Benny Hinn. And like I said, I used to I used to watch um, 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 these um, these programs and, and stuff, too. But when it straight comes down to it, you know, the majority of their it's just like um, IUIC and a couple of these different camps. I was just kicking it with my neighbor just now. Yeah, I went down to the um, NFL draft with um, with the kids, you know, downtown Detroit here. And um, he said, yeah, I seen those guys down there. That's how I know. He, I be, I, I've be, been trying to kick it with him about this truth. I done kicked it with him a bunch of times, so I done gave up on him. But he do know he's a Hebrew Israelite. He's like, yeah, I seen the Hebrew Israelite guys down there in the purple. I'm like, yeah, you, IUIC. He was like, yep, that's them. But, you know, that's one of those groups that, you know, they most of these ministries, they cater to women. Right? But anyway, let's play, let's play this video. And you're going to see, like, how this guy... And the scriptures talks about um, being aware of um, man, a man that's given a change, you know. So check him out. I will never again ask you to give a thousand or whatever amounts because I think the Holy Ghost is just fed up with it. If you want a financial miracle, you act financially. You literally give and then God will give you back way more than you can ever expect. I think it's an offense to the Lord. I think that hurts the gospel. So I'm going to ask you tonight to give to the Lord's work. And I want you to tell the Lord, Lord, here's what I am believing for. Giving gets you out of trouble, even legal trouble. Giving has power. That's buying the blessing. That's grieving the Holy Spirit. I think that's buying the gospel. How many of you sweet people need a financial miracle now? Stretch your hands towards me. Come on. Lord, in Jesus' name, grant their desire. And Lord, we agree that financial need will be met. If I hear one more time, break the back of debt with a thousand dollars, I'm going to rebuke them. I think it's offense to the Holy Spirit to place a price on the gospel. I'm done with it. So go ahead and sow your seed. Let's just believe God that every one of you that are believing God for that financial need to be met, it will be met. Because it's manipulation. It's gimmickry to tell someone you give a thousand, you gotta get a hundredfold. What if they don't get a get hundredfold? And most do not. What happens to their walk with the Lord and their faith? Think about that, the damage, the question. No, never, never again. Because when that thing doesn't happen, when someone gives and it doesn't come back, there's hurt, there's damage. It hurts the gospel, it hurts the message, it hurts the kingdom. And Steve, I want no part of that. But before you sow, tell God what you want. And tell him when, tell him when. He'll do it every single time. The gospel is not for sale. And prosperity is not for sale. All right, so can we come now and pass the offering buckets? Okay, and there you have it, man. There you have it. I mean, hey, right out of the horse's mouth. But this is Christianity in a nutshell, man. This is what our people have been going through. This is why we go out on the highways and byways to, um, and by the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh a lot of our people have been breaking free of that shit. Now, whether or not they've been coming into the truth, truth, you know, because you got Jake, they, they know they're Hebrew Israelites, they done left the church, but they're not doing what they should be doing. They still out here, you know, pretty much, you know, half assing. You know, they're not coming fully into this truth. Still out here doing wickedry, you know, wicked nigga shit. Now, so I'm gonna end out, but um, you know, another point too, and we do we hey, we give to our apostles, you know, we give to our elders, you know, our teachers, you know, we we do do that. Now, is there a promise to that? Of course, there's a promise to that. You know what I'm saying? But this, see, these guys, they're doing it all in in vain, you know, and um, and really just you know fucking these people over. Let's go into uh, Malachi. Uh, verse 8. Malachi 3 and verse 8, it says, Well, a man robbed God, yet ye have robbed me. But ye say, Wherein have we robbed thee in tithes and offerings? Okay, yeah. Uh, and, and this is one of the main scriptures that the Christian church uses. They'll run this one down every single time because they'll try and make you feel guilty about robbing the Lord, you know what I'm saying? Now, you know, it, it's another lesson, you know, you can go up into the, you know, the, the, um, 
the, the the deepness of it, so to speak, you know, because, you know, when you go back into, um, you know, the ancient days, you know, a lot of the tithes offerings, it was done, you know, with cattle and, um, you know, of course, fruits, vegetables, things of that nature, um, which we don't have right now. But there's still, you know, now we're living in the Americas, you know, your monetary value or this money that that, you know, is, is kind of the same thing, you know, in a sense, you know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, that's what we have right now. So we, you know, we can give to the ministry and help our apostles and, you know, and help them, you know, along with the ministry, you know what I'm saying? Because a, a, a man of the Lord should be taken care of. But now these wicked demons, these motherfuckers is not men of the Lord. They're some false teachers, false prophets, and they try and use the scriptures to, to their advantage. And, and a lot of them have, have done it and have been successful. And it's pretty much overall because a lot of people do have hope. Some people do have a real zeal for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, but it's just not according to knowledge, right? Okay, so verse 9, it says, Ye are cursed with a curse, for ye have robbed me, even this whole nation. So you'll have these, these pastors, they'll tell you, see, you're cursed. Why? Because you're not giving. And then, hey, that's that guilt trip. And, 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 and they, hey, there you go. They go off into it. Now, it says th this whole nation. Who is this talking about, though? This is talking about the nation of Israel because this was only the law, statutes, and commandments was only given to the children of Israel. It wasn't given to no damn heathen because you got a lot of heathen pastors, man. They're getting over. When I say it, of, of all nations, it's, it's, a, it's, past, it's, it's mega pastors of all nations, man, getting over. Verse 10, it says, Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be meat in my, mine house and prove me now, herewith saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall be not room enough to receive it. So this is true. This is really true. You know what I'm saying? But this is according to the children of Israel, the Hebrew Israelites, calling on the true name of the Father Yahweh in the name of his son Yahweh Shai. Right? So you, you have to know that. If you call on um, sweet white baby Jesus, you through. You you are cursed anyway, and and you and, and know this, know that Satan can bless you. What did he What did he tell Yahweh when Yahweh was in the wilderness? I'll give you. What did he say? Um, I'm trying to think how it was worded. Oh, uh, is this the one? Let me see. So like you. This is it right here, Matthew chapter 4. Okay, I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, Then, then was Yahweh Shai led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward and hungry. A hungry. So he was hungry. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. Right? Okay, but I want to get to the point. Um... Because he, he gets the offering, man, um, things. Verse 8, let me get to the point. Again, the devil taking, again, the devil taketh him up into an exceeding high mountain and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them and saith unto him, all these things will I give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me. See? See? So he has the power to give you shit, man. Hey, Satan out here, man, this is his kingdom. Pretty, I mean, he's running this this portion, man, you know what I'm saying, and on the carnal side, the left-hand side. Why you think these, you know, you got your Cat Williams and all these different um, people coming out talking about the casting couch and all these things that these people are doing in Hollywood, Holly Weird, to get these positions. How they're getting these huge bank accounts. How these rappers are all of a sudden popping up and, you know, you never heard of them. But all of a sudden, they got music playing all on the radio and shit. What do you think they're doing? They're, they're, they're taking a gift or a bribe, so to speak, from Satan, man. Verse 10, Then said Yahweh Shai unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. And this is what a lot of our people are not doing. They're, 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 they're thinking that they are, but they're not doing it. And a lot of our people are really seriously being duped out of um, a lot of money, man. Our people are giving, man, when I say money, boy, through, Christianity is a trillion dollar corporation on so many levels, man. But they have been falling. I, I'm not going to front. I just done a lesson the day before yesterday. I think it was 
with um these churches, you know what I'm saying, losing all these members, and now they're selling these because you know they had these big ass headquarters, but they're losing millions of people, you know. So now the bills, these big extravagant, you know, um, buildings that they have. They can no longer afford them because the people are not there to um to put into the into the pot no more. So they've been getting over, man. So, but I just wanted to touch on this real quick. I found it to be real interesting that this guy, he's getting exposed, and this is how Esau. This is how we know. See, this is uh, an example of the family of the word as well, right? Because Esau is being exposed. Now what is he doing? He's trying to break it down where now he's calling it misinformation or he's calling it this. They got these different names. Anti-Sim, anti-this, anti-that. Misinformation, you know, because they want to shut down the word of the real word of Yahweh Bashim al because it's cutting them. And they're losing a lot of money. They're losing congregants. They're losing the footing. They're losing their, their, their um, New World Order society, so to speak, you know, through the, the scriptures, man, through the brothers. Or the, you know, the men of the Lord going out on the highways and byways through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim al and chanting this place down. So this is a tactic that Esau um, um, moves with, man. We have to shut them down. We must clip them talking. We got to, you know, what did, what did they want to do? That's, what it, that's why, um, you know, you had the Pharisees, you know, they wanted, hey, they was trying to kill Yahweh Shah for that very thing. They kill um Stephen for that very thing. The prophets always the all, all the reasons why the prophets was passing away or dying or being um deleted the way that they were being deleted is because they wanted the word cut off. They wanted the word shut down. They wanted the word to stop. They didn't want this truth to go out. We must stop them. We must stop their mouths. See? And this is what Benny Hinn tried to do to this guy, even though he's a false pastor too. But you know, I just wanted to touch on that for a hot sec, man. A little information. Pray that the lesson was edifying with that, Kwame Yashala.